Yes, Wild Rags have been around for years. Um, they've had a lot of different uses. They're really good in the winter for keeping the wind and the weather out. They're super warm but really light. Um, they've, they're a great tool for, for the Western lifestyle and they're a really nice addition to any outfit. So I want to show a couple different sizes of rag. Um, and how to wear them. The 36 inch rag is going to be a good size to start out with. Um, a couple ways to wear this. First of all, I'll show you guys the proper way to, to wear a wild rag is going to be um, it's gonna, you're going to take your square wild rag, you're going to take it at a 45 degree angle, so you're like this, and then you're going to come pull it back here and around like this. And then um, the 36 inch size is really good to do a couple couple things with. Um, it's really good to do a square knot. Um, the square knot is going to be um, where you take right over left, left over right. So you take your right side, go over and through. And then you take left over right and through like that. And a nice way to dress that one up is going to be where you pull this side over like this. So you have kind of a nice little bow look. Um, another nice way to wear a wild rag is going to be with a slide. Here I'm going to show it with a nice antler slide. You just push the corners of that the tails through, pull it up, and there you have a nice um, a nice rag to wear, you know, out and about. Um, it works really good for this size of rag. A 40 inch rag is going to be a really nice size for a lot of people. It's going to have a little more tails, so you can play with some of these fun knots I'm going to show you. Um, it's a little bit a little bit short to do the buckaroo square knot, which is the most popular wild drag knot, but it works really, really good for a lot of these other knots, the square knot, um, and a couple of these others I'm going to show you here pretty quick. It also works really well with the slide. Now a 45 inch drag is going to be the most common size. And this one is going to be really good to tie both the buckaroo square knot and several of these other knots. I'm going to show a lot of the knots on this rag because of the color. You can kind of follow my fingers and everything, see what I'm doing. So first of all, um, I showed you that square knot. Super good knot to, to wear with this one too. Um, I can show you what that'll look like. You can tie it like that. You can pull this over a little bit. There's your nice wear knot again. Most commonly, a lot of people like that one. Um, another nice knot is gonna be like a Windsor tie knot. So you're gonna take your tails and you're gonna have to make one a little bit shorter than the other. You're gonna take this tail, go around here, go around again, and come up through, just like a tie. And that ends up being a really nice knot. Um, it keeps the tails down. It's, it's a nice way to dress it up, go to church, those kind of things. Um, it's a really good knot. A knot. Now, the knot that everyone would like to really see is the buckaroo square knot. I'm gonna show you, there's several ways to tie this. A lot of people do it a different way. This is the easiest way I've found and the easiest way to teach people. So I'm gonna show you. You're going to take your first tail, you're going to go around two fingers like this. So you're going to have two loops here. I want you to notice right now the two different loops of material right here. Then you take the second tail, you're going to go through the first loop of material like this. You're going to go over here, around your hand, and then you're going to go through that second loop of material. Pull it like this, 
And a lot of people want to pull these sideways when you square them up. I'm gonna pull my fingers out. You don't pull out like this. You're gonna actually pull down like this and get it nice and square. And if you happen to get one tail different than the other one, the way this knot works is gonna be going to be down and through and around to over here. And then the other side goes down, through, up and over to here. Okay? So if you want, if this tail here is too short, you just follow the loop back around and say, okay, pull tight here, pull up here, and tighten here. And then you can adjust that knot very easily. Um, a lot of times it's hard to get it square the first time. Another couple of sizes are going to be your 52 inch, which is this one. And I'm going to show even the 60 inch rag a couple of ways because people are like, what do you do with all that material? So I'm going to show you a couple of things to do. You can wrap this 60 inch rag like two, three, four times around. Um, you know, the a lot of the um, big ranchers and cowboys and stuff out on the range they really like these ones because they can wrap them there and they can go to town and have all these fun tails or you can just wrap them an extra whole entire time around and you can tie a little square knot and then you don't have all that tail, you got the nice bulk right here, it works really good for that type of purpose. Another fun thing about a 60 inch is, in the summer, you take it, you wrap it around here, go to the beach, and you got yourself a nice little cover up. So this one here, it's not for everybody, but a 60 inch rag definitely has a purpose. They're a fun rag to wear. Another nice thing about a 60 inch rag for a lot of ladies who like to wear a nice scarf to town, but you're like, what do I do with a big square scarf? Well, you can wear it just like your regular scarves. Go dress up your outfits. You can wear the fun materials. Um, go to the office and you're good to go. All right, cool. And so you're here at the Show Me Twice. Um, kiosk, but you actually represent flat iron hats? Um, flat hat racks. Okay, cool. Um, and I, I am the custom maker of all of the goods. I make the wild rags. Um, I make a lot of necklaces, a lot of accessories and things. Um, so you can stop by here. I, um, I'm with Show Me Twice all the time. Um, she has a lot of really cool things. Um, she brings a lot of a lot of racks here. 50% um, off stuff, $10 racks. You know, there's tons of deals here. There's a lot of bins over here that are gonna be 50% off stuff. A lot of good used horse equipment that you can get great deals here. And she she's very fair on her pricing. She's very honest to deal with. So definitely stop by, check out the booth, check out the wild rags, get a free lesson on how to tie your knot. And um, and do some great shopping, have some fun. All right, cool. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody, here for the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo, and wave goodbye to the internet. Goodbye, internet. <laughs>